Have you ever booted up your PC, looked at the mess on your screen that you call your desktop, and felt like throwing your monitor into the trash? Well, if so, then this video is for you. Messy desktops are an absolute eyesore for anyone who tries to get any work done. It's only when your desktop is a mess do you realize how much more important it is to have a clean and organized desktop for a more seamless work or gaming experience. So let's look into a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make your desktop look clean for both Windows 10 and 11. So once you got ahead and booted up your PC, <laughs> your monstrosity of a desktop should come before you. But before we can go ahead and clean up that mess, we should first clean up what's underneath it, and that is the taskbar. The first step in decluttering your taskbar is to remove all the icons on it that you haven't even clicked once, like task view. You can do this by right-clicking the taskbar and unchecking every app that you want removed from the taskbar leaving only the essential shortcuts to apps that you're sure to use. The next step is to remove that large search bar. You can do that by right-clicking on it and going to the search option, where you can select the show search icon option, replacing the long bar with a single icon. You can further clean up the taskbar by unpinning all the unnecessary apps from the taskbar by right-clicking on them and select unpin from the taskbar option. You can also clean up the extra badges on the other side by dragging them into the hidden badges section. If you right-click the taskbar and select taskbar options, you'll get several more options like a high taskbar and desktop mode, and a smaller icons option as well. Now let's make sure to center our taskbar to make it look a little bit more organized. For Windows 11 users, doing this is easy. You just have to go into your taskbar settings and change the alignment to center. But the process is a bit longer if you're a Windows 10 user. You first have to unlock your taskbar by clicking the lock taskbar option. After which, if you go to the toolbars right at the top, you can find an option that says Links. Once you select it, move the Links bar from the right to the left, pushing the icons to the other side. Then pull the icons bar from the left and center it in the middle where you need it to be. Once that's done, right click on the links and uncheck the Show Text and Title option, and finally lock the taskbar. Your taskbar should now be centered. Now, a good taskbar blends in with your wallpaper, and the best way to do that is by making the taskbar transparent. Now, this isn't possible via the taskbar settings, so you'll have to download apps from the Microsoft Store that enable you to do the same. One of its best apps for this is Translucent TV, which is available on the Microsoft Store once again. Once it is downloaded, if you right-click on the app badge in the right-hand corner, you can make the transparent effect only take place when you're on the desktop and opaque when you're using any other applications like Chrome. Now that you have your taskbar sorted out, let's begin by clearing up that mess of a desktop. We know that sorting through every single file on the desktop is going to take time, but if you just drag everything into the recycling bin, you might end up deleting something important. So a one quick solution for this is to right click on the desktop, hover over the view option, and uncheck the show desktop icons option. Instantly clearing out your overgrown screen. Our next order of business is to clear up the start menu. We can first make sure that our most important apps appear on the side of the taskbar as quick icons by right clicking on them in the scroll menu and selecting pin to the start button. You can rearrange and reorganize the start menu icons as you see fit, making sure that all your apps are just a click away. And if you don't enjoy the simple sidebar that pops up when you click the start button, you can change this by going to the start menu settings and enabling the use full start screen option. This will give you that full start screen menu experience just like what Windows 8 had, but a bit more flexible. Uncheck whatever options you dislike in the start menu settings. But wait, if you notice a lot of ugly looking folder icons in your start menu and intend to change it, then you can do so by right clicking the folder and going to its file location and dragging the application inside that file to the programs and then deleting the file. You should now see the application that was in the folder in the start menu. Well, now that you have your taskbar and desktop sorted out, you probably think that you're done and you can go about your day. But there's actually so much more that you can do. So let's take a look at how we can make our desktop look even more aesthetic. Let's start first with the wallpaper. This step is rather important as it determines the entire aesthetic of your setup. Wallpapers are mainly of two types, normal or static, and animatic or dynamic. Now if what you require is a static wallpaper, then all you have to do is visit websites like Pexels and Unsplash where you can get high quality wallpaper worthy pictures that suit your wants. If you want to have something more animated, then you have two choices of apps that can help with this. One is a free app called Lively Wallpaper that is available on the Microsoft Store and allows you to pick from a few basic preloaded animated wallpapers and will enable you to select any sort of loop GIF or video on YouTube to make that your new wallpaper. But let's say you have a few bucks to spare. Then you should go for one of the best current choices for live wallpapers, Wallpaper Engine. This app is sold on Steam for $4 and has an amazing selection of preloaded wallpapers. 
People upload animated wallpapers that they've made onto this app and it's free of charge for us to download and use once we have bought the app. It also allows you to upload and use your own animated wallpapers too. Once you have chosen a striking new wallpaper to add to your aesthetic setup, the next ordeal is to match the colors of your desktop with your newly chosen wallpaper. There is no point in having a good wallpaper if none of the colors match. So to match the colors of your desktop with your new wallpaper, you first have to head into your settings, where under the personalization tab, you can find the colors option, which is your central control for all things color on your desktop. You can choose between two general color schemes, a light theme and a dark theme. These options will make all the background and axis of each app bright or dark depending on what you have selected. But if you're someone who has a color palette that ranges a bit beyond the boring black and white, then you can set your custom color scheme under the same tab. You can also add some translucence to your windows and surfaces by toggling the slider. We're at the last step of making your desktop the most aesthetic it's ever looked. And if you look at your desktop closely, you may not see the biggest issue in front of you. It's that it's bland, boring, and a basic cursor. Even if you make everything else match, if you don't match your mouse cursor, then the entire theme, all this organizing, has been done for nothing. There are two ways in which you can make your mouse cursor blend in with the theme. The first is via Windows itself. You go to your system settings and open the accessibility tab. Under it, you'll find the mouse pointer settings, where you can change the Windows mouse color colors and color using the option already given. Although this option is great for very basic customization, it's always good to go the extra mile for that clean look. You can download and use custom cursors from websites like DeviantArt for free. DeviantArt hosts a large amount of free art that people can download and use as they please. This includes mouse cursors as well. You first have to log into the DeviantArt website if you want to avail of their free download option. Once you've done that, if you search for free mouse cursors on DeviantArt, you'll get a fantastic set of cursors to pick from. From futuristic to quirky, they have it all. Once you select the cursor you like and download it, open it and extract it to any folder and run the installation. Once the installation has finished, your mouse property window should pop up. Go to the pointers tab and make sure to select your newly downloaded mouse cursor under the scheme subheading and click the apply button. Your new stylish cursor has now been installed. Now with a new cursor, clean desktop, awesome wallpaper, and organized taskbar, you're set to make the most of your time on your new system. Remember, all of these changes are reversible, so don't worry if you don't like this new look and you want to revert and start over. So which of these amazing tools and tricks are you going to use to make your desktop look cleaner? Let us know down in the comments below. And if you're a tech nerd like me, then you're going to absolutely love these 18 coolest tech gadgets on Amazon. Be sure to watch the video right now so you don't miss them.